Welcome Libra to your remote viewing session. Yes, we're doing something different today. Get into it if you like. I have two tarot decks. I just wanted to show you all justice. Wow, with the high priestess right behind her. And the Six of Wands. Who is remote viewing? Who's trying to <clears throat> watch you? Who has you on their mind and why, Libra? Okay, we're going to actually remote view them. Who are they? Where are they? I'm seeing mountains right now in my third eye. Let's shuffle the tarot. Yeah, look, a snowy place north, up north. There's four seasons there. Or somebody could be staying at a Four Seasons. Or is that still a thing? <clears throat> the Eye of Horus mirrors the placement of the pineal gland in the profile of the human head. The third eye is connected to clarity, concentration, imagination, and intuition. Help me, spirit, use my third eye to remote view today. Who has Libra on their mind and why? A page of wands, some type of important communication will arrive, Libra, very soon. It could change the course. You don't see this coming. You don't see this coming. You will not see this coming. The Four of Cups. So whoever has you, whoever has you on their mind. Wants to offer you something already. But you're not going to see this coming. feeling like four weeks nine of swords this person is haunted or someone that is trying to see what you're up to Libra They're feeling confusion, uncertainty, uncertainty, cynicism, possibly jealousy, pessimism. Their third eye is not open and vibrant like yours. They see the physical world at this time still, Libra, but you see the true world a unified whole with an unyielding connection to spirit. You have the ability to gain clarity out of confusion. This person is in confusion. This person is up at night. Again, you're the person on their mind all the time. They need to clean their third eye, but they don't know the first thing about decalcifying the pineal gland. And they're like, what are you talking about, Libra, when you talk about these things? They've been too busy fighting 
to reach the position they're in. Seven of Wands, or they've watched you continue to rise, fight to where you are now, Libra. And now maybe whoever this is is seeing that who they thought was for them is not for their highest good. Whoever I'm tapping into right now, the people around them are like crabs in a bucket. They feel like you have elevated out or away from that energy, a community, mentality. Page of Pentacles, you went your own way, even if it was starting small. You weren't afraid to start. They're afraid to start. They don't want to start over. They don't want to start small. They have a lot of fear about having to start over or do something small because they have this. They're still in that fake paradigm, ego mentality. I just heard it's always been go big or go home. I do feel like this person that I'm tapping into, Libra, for you, they're, they're hardly ever at home. I feel like they're on they're out on their journey a lot for the pentacle for the money. They are a hard worker. Yeah, wow, this person takes on the responsibility um, of others along with their own the ten of wands. They're ready for the change, though. They want to drop some of these burdens. They want to let go. They want to release. They're tired of being this beggar type of energy, maybe. Like, maybe this person begs for your energy. Um, because they see you, Libra, as this giver. You're so balanced, holding the scales, the six of pentacles here. And I'm noticing that black and white tile floor. They want to know what you know. They want to know what you know. This is most definitely a person from your past life, Libra. Now this can be, this is my soulmate past life card, Six of Cups. It doesn't have to be a lover. This could also be a friend. A good friend from a past life. Even though I do feel deep down I am tapping into a person that wants to love you or loves you. Well, you definitely loved each other either way in a past life with the Six of Cups. Who is this? We have a King of Pentacles at the bottom. Again, more of that cold. Okay. This could be this person from your past life, this King of Pentacles, this cold energy coming through, but I think he's a totally different energy than what I was just reading for. So I'm going to go ahead and bring him out. Set him over here. Ten of Swords behind that King of Pentacles.
This energy wants to bring an end to this person or you in what way? In that new emotional fulfillment, that Ace of Cups. They want to stop you or this person from feeling brand new, from discovering themselves or discovering yourself. I see um, amethyst, purple, sapphire, violet. Strive to have the courage to follow through on what your intuition offers and your third eye strength will grow. I'm listening to this um, pineal gland enhanced remote viewing <clears throat> meditation and it's saying words. So... It's, I'm kind of like looking over there sometimes and also reading the cards and it's kind of going hand in hand. Okay, this King of Pentacles definitely wants you or this person or both of you, two people in the card, out in the cold. Jeez. Okay. This is either you, Masculine Librans, King of Swords, fighting against this domineering authority figure in this King of Pentacles that's trying to um, overtake your power, your throne. But I'm sorry, I think the King of Swords is the most badass king. And I may be biased because I'm a Libra air sign, but... If it was him against him, I feel that the cleverness, the quickness, the sharpness of the sword, like this King of Pentacles is no match with his stick. What are you going to do with that stick? That sword is going to like slice that stick in half so quick. Why are these two masculine energies here, Libra? Like I said, if you are a divine masculine Libra, the king of swords, this is you. Who's this domineering masculine authoritative figure that's trying to uh, bring an ending, put you in poverty? <clears throat> and even if you're a divine femme, this king of pentacles could also be from a past life. Okay, if you're a divine femme, both of these. Hear that airplane? Both of these energies are from your past life. Now I'm hearing. It's coming in hot. Ten of wands. Seven of wands. Two of Wands, I can't make it up, Page of Wands. You saw that, bottom of the deck, behind the King of Swords. It's coming in hot. There's that Page of Wands, there's that message. At 14 minutes, 14 days to four weeks, two weeks to four weeks, 14, 14, yep. 14 plus 14, 28, I'm telling you, two to four weeks. It's coming in hot. Judgment behind that. A judgment call has been made. I heard the guides has, have spoken. Nine of Pentacles. There you are, Libra. Staying connected to the ancestors. Having that support system. Being independent in this physical life but having a connection to spirit, the falcon, keeping that strong is part of your independence and your success. It's coming in hot. 
You could go from living in a colder climate to a warmer one. Yeah, I instinctively, intuitively put the King of Swords on top of the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Wands because I truly feel that you masculine Librans could possibly be in this energy or whoever I was picking up on outside of you, Divine Femme Librans, this King of Swords. They're in the Seven of Wands, they're in the Ten of Wands, the thick of it. But with the two of wands at the bottom, <clears throat> behind that king of swords, I feel like they're trying to bring in, they want to learn. I do feel like this king of swords is open, is becoming more open to spirituality because this two of wands, look how he's balancing the fireball. That represents the physical material, right? The physical fire with an invisible ball over here that's represented by spirit just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist and he's really focused on the fireball the physical it's time to bring more of that unseen okay into the physical <clears throat> I'm sorry I don't know why my throat chakra is like being attacked right now I went ahead and reached for my physical features deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Someone could definitely have a frog in their throat. And that also talks about dark magic. There's dark magic. Um, definitely around this person. Possibly around you, Libra, but I believe you're doing a pretty good job nowadays keeping that energy away. Yeah, a cult. She definitely reminds me of somebody in the occult. It says red attire. And see, look at this. Everyone in the wands card. The wands, they're all wearing red. I know, it represents fire. This is significant though. There's someone involved in some type of high society, whatever you want to call it, here, trying to peep you out, Libra. They could live in Europe, for some of you. Or simply just be some type of European. Let's see what we got. Glasses. Possibly someone that wants really hard to be involved in this whole spirituality thing, but it's not their forte. Her meditation, her prayer pose just seems forced to me. 
it just her few tattoos her little bracelets like mm, it's not giving what it's supposed to give Someone with curly hair, someone with glasses, someone that wants to be into spirituality, maybe yoga or meditation, into that whole lifestyle, only because they see it as being profitable. They're also in your energy, Libra. This person could go to a class, go to one of your classes or a class you go to. Whether this is um, a fitness instructing class or a higher learning college. Wow. Tall. We have tall at the bottom, hazel eyes, and tribal. I'm feeling like with these color combinations, that gold, that brown. Someone has like honey brown eyes. Very beautiful. You have a society, a European occult society watching some of you, Libra, and you also have people involved in Santeria, I'm feeling, watching you. Yeah, something just moved over by the bookcase after I said that. And something just moved on the wall. I heard a little peck or knock. Anything else? Someone with short hair and green eyes. This person could love nature. Gaia. So we have hazel eyes and green eyes. Very pretty short haired female. I'm liking the vibes. Nicely done makeup. The reflection in their eyes looks like a sunflower. Someone here could have like a sunflower tattoo. You may not be able to see it or you might, but see what I see. I see a sunflower, I see nature, I see vines. joining me Libra Queen of Swords we fly let's go night ride <clears throat> even though it's morning <laughs> it's a beautiful morning uh, I think I'll go outside Yep, look at that. Go outside, Libra, at the bottom of my um, channel message deck. Meditate, walk, nature, fresh air, exercise, look up. 
look up. Let's see what came out of the tarot. The lovers. Yeah, I feel this energy heavily around you. Someone wants to be just like this with you, Libra, intertwined. They want to be intertwined with you. There's a lot of protection around you, the dog in the background. It's a good thing. The Ten of Wands at the bottom, they feel like there's just so much maybe coming against this connection or this union. That's crazy. We got the Ten of Wands twice. Both tarot decks. With the Five of Pentacles. So again, somebody here. But look what's behind that. The Ten of Cups. It's right there. The Hermit. Enlightenment. It's right there. Good fortune. Blessings. The Ten of Cups. Like, look at them riding that fish just like riding the wave of life so happy it's right there past the ten of wands and the five of pentacles it's like you've got to get past that energy first this person um this love for my single librans that wants to come through that is i'm telling you from a past life if you believe in that sort of thing they just got to get past that energy that's crazy we saw both of those cards in the other tarot too since we're picking up on the lover's card, someone could currently be having to make a choice. Do they stay in their old way of life or do they truly drop the burdens and begin anew? What's it going to be? 10-10. Take that deep dive, depth. One more. They're so conflicted. They're on a merry-go-round. Look at that Ferris wheel. Round and round, up and down. Decisions, hot and cold. They have multiple choices. Well, Libra's your best choice, but okay. <laughs> Free will is at play, right? Always, always, always. And it's always going to be okay, no matter what. Libra. What would this person like to tell Libra? Yes, I felt it this whole reading. The cards don't lie. Influences. They have all these people around them, the crabs in the bucket, that don't want this person to open up their pineal gland, their third eye. They don't want them, they don't want to see you and them together. It's influences around them, peers, third parties, and attachments. It'll be such a, a shame if this person lets influences their peers third parties or negative attachments hold them back much longer or even their entire life they crave intimacy intimacy bonding sensual confiding healing behind that this is what they can have and I'm not even saying, oh, this is what they can have with you. I almost did. But it's like, no, this is what you can have when you choose you, your health, building your own wealth. Like, and then you come, if you can, if you want, if you choose to come together in a union, intertwine your lives. then beautiful, then beautiful. But I'm telling you what, either way, it's so much better than letting others around you control you. Holy moly. I hope whoever needs to hear this reading, they, it gets to them. Please share it. 
share this video with anyone that you think may need to hear it. Any other message for Libra before I end it out? Yeah, whoa. It's getting hot in here, Libra. They lust for you. Lusting. Forbidden. Silence, frozen, no words, stone wall. I can't leave it here. Let's get a channeled message from my channeled message deck. Again, that frozen energy. Someone feels very left out in the cold from you, and that's why they're trying to watch you. That's why they're trying to just peer into your energy. Whether they're from the north, where it gets cold and snows, or not. They're spying. They're constantly holding on, clinging, obsessed. Now I've picked up on multiple energies. I picked up on four different people trying to see about you, Libra. Remember? I picked up on the King of Swords first. Then we picked up on the King of Pentacles. Who was like, no bueno. Then we picked up on the European occult society people in the red. And then we picked up on the Santeria energy and culture from these two cards. So just from this 30 minute reading alone, we got those four different people. If it did resonate for you and you did receive messages, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. You need to know that someone is absolutely loco. It says he is loco. She is cray. They're childish. They're petty. They're low vibe. They blame others, okay, for their problems. Or they cannot heal from their childhood wounds. Or they refuse to heal from their childhood wounds. You're, actually, you're much better than that, Libra, says that card. Two more messages for Libra. Wishing well, shooting stars. Do you remember wishes are coming true for you? This is the second time this card's been at the bottom. Wake up. So much more to know. There's so much more to see. See the light. One more card for Libra, please. Roll the dice. Take that shot. This is your calling, your destiny. I'm hearing the time is near. The time is now. 3313. I just saw on the clock. You're a smooth operator. If people are coming against your energy or trying to pull you into their drama, like crabs in a bucket, seven of wands, it says, let it roll off your back. And did you hear my throat chakra again? Okay, Libra, I gotta go. Stay balanced, stay blessed. I'll talk to you guys later on. Peace.